Okay, let's talk about Lorna. Hey, Lorna. I know everyone forgets that uh, Lorna is with child. And um, she's got these adorable little ones all around her. What a wonderful time in life that we get to see and her baby. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. All right, let's go to Lorna's folder. So I think you said that um, this little one is Alex's twin. So super cute. Oh my goodness. And it seems like they're almost the same age. She's a little bit older, I'm sure. That is, oh my gosh, your son is just epically cute. And then I love how in this one, in this image, we get uh, more of a perspective. You know, Alex is like two. And of course, we got Marshmallow back here. Oh dear. Um, I love seeing what they're dressed up as and the different ages of the, the group of children. And um, yeah, I think that these are really, really cute kid portraits. Oh my gosh, he's he's just epically cute. Adorbs. All right, let's go look at your contact sheet for this week. I mean, like seriously, holy cow. He is so adorable. I mean, I can barely stand it. He just, you know, it's like I get tears in my eyes from this child. He's so cute. And let's look around here a little bit. Oh, he is so happy. And I wonder where you are here. Looks like someplace um, it's ready for Christmas for sure. Oh my goodness. That puppy is just <laughs> hanging on, hanging in. Oh. Oh. And who's this? Is this mommy over here? Goodness gracious. Wow, look at that. He's got that little football and the man bun and the button down. Oh my, and the khakis. Girl, you just couldn't be getting this child more stylish. He couldn't be more stylish. <laughs> He's epically stylish. Cute. No, wait, that's a different football. Oh. A pup ready to play? Oh, wow. Goodness gracious. What is he concerned about? I wonder what he thinks about the new baby coming. You'll have to share with us because I would love to hear. Oh my goodness. Babies and babies. Aw, oh, oh, we got a belly button shot there. <laughs> oh, those are the kind of things that you'll embarrass him with when he's grown up. Aw. Oh. And that, it, this shot makes the puppy's foot look ginormous because it's so close. <laughs> oh, so cute. So I wonder if this is in your home. Because, wow, Martha Stewart, you really got... Um, some pretty things going on. Wow, this is so cute. This is like stock photo material right here. Boy holding puppy. Oh. And what did you say to him to make him laugh like that? Oh gosh. Seems like you've got a very happy home. Oh, that is the cutest ever. 
You have to share with us what makes him happy. So cute. Got a lot of holidays going on around here. You know, it looks like you're ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas and you're crafty. Oh my goodness. I just can't. It's just it's too cute. Oh my, look at that. He this guy likes football, doesn't he? <laughs> What a fun plush football. I want one. I, think I need to get one for my husband. Yeah, we're um, all grown up over here, so it's really cute to look back at um, the baby photos. And uh, I think you've done an excellent job on your intro to personal choice, Lorna. I also want to look at your video, or I'm sorry your um, images from last week. Okay, so here we've got Bryant. <clears throat> and I just, I um, made a copy of this image at JPEG so that we don't have to go into Photoshop to look at it. And uh, I think this is very nicely done. And um, you know, these are the kind of things that you have to look forward to with, with Alex. Um, so this young man is getting some facial hair here. So he must be about, I'm going to say 12, 13 maybe. Mm, could be 14, even 15. But um, I like that shallow depth of field. Um, so I think this one is well done. And then we got Haley. I um, I like the attitude that she brought to this portrait. Um, she seems confident and at ease with you, the photographer, and um, and that that says a lot about you as a photographer that you're easy to work with and. You know, I could get my portrait done if I wanted with you. And, you know, maybe I'll pay you um, such and such amount of money. So, um, you know, portrait taking is really the most lucrative of all, all the, um, the ways you can make money with photography. So you've got to think about that. And I love the warm colors. I, I like the background, the tree and how it works with the colors in her hair and her skin and I like the echo of this her arm and the diagonal also over here so I think that's a nice portrait and then there's your boys <laughs> oh my goodness how did you decide on this location because the orange and the orange and you know how they both have long hair and oh geez I gotta see what's going on here oh sitting in a wagon adorbs so really really cute now oh, I gotta put my double glasses on in order to see there we go that helps So yeah, I, I enjoy the colors of this image very much. It feels well planned out. The colors in the background, even, you know, even the bark, everything is kind of bumped up to um, bring in those reds and oranges. And um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a touching portrait. So well done there. Okay, now I want to look at your contact sheet. So here we've got um, some more wonderful portraits of Alex. 
and I feel like, you know, he's heading in the direction of getting that awesome hair like his dad. And I love the colors that you captured here. In the corn bin. <laughs> so that must be maybe feed. But great, great idea. Great color choices. <laughs> that expression so cute. Now we got a happy shot. You're going to have to share with us. What did you say? Is this in the bed of a truck? No, it's a wood bin. <laughs> oh, it's a Mickey jumpsuit. Oh, you guys are Disney fans too. I was looking at it earlier and couldn't figure out. I could tell that it was Halloween-esque. Oh, that's so cute. Goodness gracious. Mommy. 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 Mom. Mommy. <laughs> Look. Oh, great. Epic oranges there. Oh, my goodness. You have got to tell us. What did you say? He must think you're the, like the best comedian on earth. <laughs> oh, so this is a top and bottoms. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. So there must have been going on, a lot going on on this day. So I guess it said something about you were at the pumpkin patch. Oh, that was precious. And so there must have been different activities. Lots of people there. Oh, and a dinosaur. Yeah. That is so nice. I like that one a lot. You're making smart choices. Yeah, epic, epically cute, you know, and I can tell. Alex is going to be um, a tall man. I like the intera interaction here with this arm and this figure in the back and the way his hair is kind of framing his eye. So cute. Yeah, you're... Great portraits of Alex. Okay, so excellent work on both counts, Lorna. And uh, I'm really looking forward to your maternity shoot. Um, so, self-portraits. Bring it on, we're looking for it. Okay, here is Tatum's portraits from last week. And uh, I see that she's captured some of her, um, some of the dog owners from the puppy, puppy daycare. Hold on, I'm gonna look back. So doggy daycare. And um, so here I'm getting this guy who's got a pup on the leash. And so it was very nice of him to model for you. However, I would like to know who is on the end of this leash. The leash is, you know, suggestive of, you know, someone else who's in the scene. Um, I do like your, the shallow depth of field. I think you did a good job there. 
but I think if you're going to take um, owner portraits, you've got to think about number one, um, giving us more detail. And number two, you've got to think about your background. I mean, your lighting is beautiful. Um, that looks gorgeous. You know, sometimes if the, there's t the, such a strong sun in your uh, model's eyes, that can, um, you know, make them squint a little bit more. But I think, I think the lighting is, is good here. He feels comfortable with it. And, um, yeah. And then over here, we've got more of a suggestion. So, you know, it's a lovely shot of the owner, but we can't see what she's holding on to. So, um, for these, if you're going to do um, portraits of the pet owners for doggy daycare, I would definitely include their, their animal, you know, and, and then it's like, it's like a double portrait. So um, people and their pets, I think is a really great idea for um, not just portraits, but intro to personal choice because, you know, this is something that's available to you and you have, you know, awesome access to. Now this is super cute. That is an excellent puppy portrait. Wow. I love that super shallow depth of field. I love how, you know, the grass feels like it's framing the pup here. And the focus is really so shallow. It's only on um, his or her face. Super cute. And now this one I love because now we can see uh, the owner and the pup. And oh my goodness. See, I thought this was your dog. With the beautiful eyelashes. Oh, so cute. And wait a minute, now Tatum. Mm, don't tell me this is you. You're going to have to let me know because I'm really not sure. <laughs> um, but I think you did a, a lovely job this week with your portraits. I am only missing your contact sheet and I'd love to see that. Um, remember that's part of this assignment. And um, other than that, I hope you'll follow some suggestions and I hope this will take you right into the next couple of weeks. All right. Okay, now we've got Angela. So Angela, for this week, I've just got your contact sheet. And so let's take a look at that. Oh, and there she is. So this is your, hold on, I gotta, I gotta check. Okay, so this is your nine-year-old daughter. And um, we've seen some portraits of her before. And uh, I was under the impression that she was like in middle school, but she's, I'm guessing, fourth grade. Um, and we don't know her name yet. I don't think you've shared her name with us. Um, I love that she's got her lip gloss on and her style in her jewelry. Super cute. So now you've got to tell us, you know, Charlotte Quinn is like, I don't know, seven, maybe seven or eight. Um, and then you've got to tell us the name of your middle daughter. And then you have a son who's in college. So you were saying about how she didn't know what to do, but they're still precious. Her photos are still very precious. And I love, you know, she put lip gloss on for her photo shoot. What a supermodel. And you've got quite the setup here. 
I like your um, backdrop, your curtain back there. And I think I think you've done an absolutely lovely job capturing her. But I think, you know, like you said, you had the most fun when you turned on the music and just relaxed, took away the stool. Oh, so cute. I mean, how much fun for us that we get to see this photo shoot that you had with, with your daughter. So sweet. Oh my goodness, you seem so grown up to me. I mean, I literally would never have guessed that she was nine. Never would have guessed. And this is really cute. Oh my goodness. And look at her boots. Y'all are ready, right? Y'all are ready for winter? Oh, th this one I think has got to be my favorite. That pose just adorbs. Sweet. I, I kind of wonder what kind of music were you playing? I really want to hear what inspired her to do these awesome poses. I mean, if she had ballet, um, or dance classes. Yep. You'll have to share with us. So I like seeing the direction that you're starting, Angela, and uh, I, I'm excited to see more. Um, with these images, if you were going to make those as final images, I would definitely crop out um, any background details that show us, you know, where you are and. Um, you know, that, that way we can just be more invested in the model, um, in your daughter. So, um, great work. All right, good night.